Hi, I'm Miss Cho. I teach second grade at Almonica Elementary, and I'm here to read you Mala and the Elephant from Thailand. Uh, it's by Dao Pumiruk, and it's illustrated by Tzu Yue Chen. Mala and the Elephant, written by Dao Pumiruk and illustrated by Tzu Yue Chen. Mala set out to explore the banks of the Ping River near her home. Her little brother followed to the edge of the yard, hoping she'd take him along. What will you give me if I take you? He had nothing to offer. Then you stay home, Mala announced. She turned and skipped along the road and across the grassy field before reaching the steep riverbank. She watched the water sparkle and splash below. Mila hurried down to the river's edge. When she reached the dock, she saw a large fish swimming by. What a fine dinner that fish would make, Mila thought. She hopped into her uncle's boat, grabbed his net, and tossed it far into the river to scoop up the silvery fish. But moments later, she was drifting swiftly downstream. The current was too strong to paddle back, and before she knew it, Mala was swept deep into the dense jungle. After a long while, the boat caught against a tangle of tree roots. Mala stepped out onto a large rock. She craned her neck to look back up the river. She was a long way from home. A crocodile appeared along the shore. Crocodile, will you help me get home? I'll tie a rope to your tail and you can tow my boat back upstream. What will you give me for my help? He asked. You can have this fish I caught. The crocodile agreed, but when Mala tossed him, to, tossed him the fish, he snapped it up and swam away. The crocodile agreed, but when Mala tossed him the fish, he snapped it up and swam away. Wait, she called after the crocodile, but he had disappeared under the water. Mala looked around her. Tall trees blocked out most of the sun's light. Leaves stirred overhead and the river rushed at her side. She pointed herself upstream and started to walk. A leopard slipped into sight. Leopard, I'm lost. Do you know a way back to the village? I do. What will you give me if I show you? Mala thought a moment. You can have my sweater. It will keep your cubs warm on cool nights. Mala held her sweater out for the leopard to see, but the leopard snatched it up and leaped away. How foolish of me, she said and sighed. She walked on and found a narrow path. Soon she was surrounded by towering trees wrapped with ropey vines. Three monkeys dangled overhead. Monkeys, can you show me a way through the trees and back to my village? What will you give us if we help you? One chattered. Mala held out her backpack. You can have this pack to carry fruit as you travel through the jungle but the biggest monkey grabbed it from her and they all swung away. Mala slumped to the ground and began to cry. Night was falling and soon darkness would settle over the jungle. She shivered. How would she get home now? Soon she heard the rustling and snapping of branches. An elephant lumbered his way toward her. Child, are you lost? The elephant asked. I will give you a ride to the village. Mala cried even harder. But I have nothing left to offer you. It would make my heart happy to help you, the elephant said. I don't need anything in return. He lowered his trunk for Mala to climb onto his great warm back and he carried her all the way to the village. Mala slid from the elephant's back, grateful to be home. 
She pressed her palms together in thanks and felt the elephant's strong trunk embrace her. Thank you, she said. The next morning, Mala's brother asked to see the riverbank where her adventure began. I'll take you, she said, and together they set off to explore. Mala remembered what the elephant had taught her. Kindness needs no reward, for it brings happiness and warmth to the heart. From then on, she offered many kindnesses to others, asking nothing in return. <laughs>